All right, welcome. Um, we are coming back to Dawn of Man. My name is Crywolf. Um, let's go ahead and just start. Uh, so we've got 15 points for the Neolithic Age. We can officially plant crops. This is going to be wonderful. All right, so let's just take a second and uh, and learn a little bit about um, what crops we have available. I want to go to plants, and we've got emmer, einkorn, and I believe barley available at the beginning. Barley, correct. So let's go through and look here and look at each one of them. Let's make an intelligent decision about what what we want and what we're looking for out of each plant. Because um, they do have different things that, uh, that they're able to do. So, Emmer, 25% chance of producing extra resource grain. So that's really nice. Um, that would be something that you would want to use when you're struggling with food production, which currently we're not. Um, but that's okay. Let's go back. Let's look at einkorn. This plant has a 25% resistance to disease, which can be useful um, when you know you don't have a lot of space. Um, you want to make sure that the grains that you're planting actually produce something. And barley. There's a 50% chance that barley will produce an extra straw. Now this is one that we may want to consider um, being that we do have thatching coming up and we are going to want to upgrade our homes relatively quickly here. Being that we are uh, we're at 31 out of 45, we've got 14 slots available. So <clears throat> I think barley is a solid choice. Um, let's kill this thing. Make sure it doesn't hurt any of our people. Um, so I think barley is a good choice for us. Now, if you plant a field. If you plant a field of five, if you double click, you won't be able to select the entire field, which I think is um, something that they should fix. I'm not really a huge fan of that. Um, I, I want to be able to select my entire field of a specific type of resource when I'm double clicking. So let's plant a five by four. of barley and then let's grab einkorn as well the one that's got the 25 percent disease resistance and that's going to be a three by five field that's going to be more than enough we really don't have a huge need for food right now <coughs> so really what i'd like to see is these these skins turned into something else. I don't really want raw skins just sitting there hanging out. And there he goes. Guy's making leather right here. Got three of them actually making leather. Yeah, they're really they're going for it here. We're making a ton of leather right now. And I think with that leather, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and grab a couple more sledges. I know, um, I think eight. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and build up to ten. That's going to be fine. <coughs> Sorry if you can hear my dog. He gets a little freaked out. A wolf attack. How? How did you manage to sneak into my home? <coughs> hey, buddy. Just take it easy. Hey, 
Why can that guy not? Why can't it? Why can't he hunt? Oh. Oh. Help us, dog. There we go. Good stuff. <clears throat> Get a few knowledge points for that. Yeah, I think a lot of our... Uh, I think a good chunk of our things decayed, unfortunately. Although we did build... I've already got four sledges, and if each one is two, that's eight. We were at 14 before. So maybe, maybe some of them decayed, but not all of them. There is a storm. It would be nice if we could have a setting that would not slow the game down for a storm, because I don't really care about a storm. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, there's no, there's no way that I can prevent lightning from hitting my people. It's just not a, not a reason to slow the game down. I don't think. Well, <clears throat> I think at this point we're just kind of, kind of just letting time go by, just letting the game do its thing. Get rid of more of these. I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world to get a couple of those uh, those sledge transport posts. Um, kind of just around maybe like by the the food drying racks and the skin drying rack it's not a bad idea it's, it's a place that they'll be bringing their sledges a lot of times We've got a lot of food here. Got a lot of food. Alright, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to just kind of walk you guys through my thought process on what technology we want to be getting first here. Now, I did mention before that um, we might want to think about doing underground mining to get the flint mines because our flint is pretty scarce and the flint that we do have is pretty far away. And I would like to avoid, um, like, you know, being in a situation where the closest flint is <laughs> three miles away from our town. That's not, not a good situation to be in. The other potential option for our first technology in the new age would be thatching. And that would be for, uh, you know, for building our homes up and making sure that we've got enough housing for our population. And what is this guy wanting to trade? Do we have some wool there? Do we want the straw? I don't know. Yeah, let's take it. I know I do plan on getting sheep very soon, um, but that's at least two technologies away because we'd have to get goats first build our stables, and then um, get, actually, it would be three away, wouldn't it? Because in order to build a stable, you need to have thatching. So you can't go goats first without thatching, at least if you want to actually build your stables. So we're probably going to be doing thatching. We got a little while before... But this stuff doesn't go bad very quickly, so we could just hold on to that. It's not going to be a problem. Let's get rid of these bones. We don't really need those. Let's get rid of our logs. Don't really need those. Um, what else can we ditch? Honestly, we could probably get rid of some food, but I, that just really goes against my better judgment. I don't think that's a good use of our resources, because that food can be gone so fast. Uh, we might want to think about... Gotta keep our sickles. 
We don't really need to worry about fishing right now, so maybe we just get rid of that. I think that looks good. So just kind of clearing some of these trees out. Um, I really love to see that they're using those. That's really nice. I do like to see that we're able to manage our workload pretty easily here without being being too crazy. So another thing to check out um, be this this knowledge progress tab and that could tell you like if you just gotta hunt like one or two more animals like this one we only need three more of those before we get a knowledge point that's a, a useful thing to know so we could build two more burial mounds and four totems in order to get our next technology now we are going to need burial mounds eventually they don't take any maintenance. So let's go ahead and toss down a couple more of those. Let's get our get our knowledge point for that. And maybe we can throw a couple of totems out there too. Because so, uh, eventually these will be moving here. These skull poles and the totem. They, they're not going to stay there forever. Doing like industrial logging right now. Look at this. <laughs> Why are you putting those all in the tent? We got our one lone miner here. Just hitting rocks with rocks to get more rocks. Seems fine. So, I'm actually going to turn off auto repair on this home. And I'll show you why as soon as we get our next knowledge point. Which we should relatively soon. <laughs> I sold all of our bones. Okay, uh, maybe we need to do a little hunting here. <laughs> so I sold all of the bones. Let's get this bear. Get this mouflon. We do want to be sure to start killing any lone mouflon that we see so that when we do finally get the technology to get sheep, then there won't, well, then there will be flocks of them around um, respond after we've, you know, murdered all their families and stuff. I felt like we already got a flag on this one, did we not? Alright, well, I'm going to preemptively do that. like on the lookout for the hunters. It's like I can feel them coming. I can feel them on their way. I can smell them. Can't see them. Look at that. We got them. Good deal. And that is a knowledge point. Look at that. First, that's our first bear. We must have hunted cave bears before. All right, let's grab that thatching. So, I am saving one dry skin by turning off the auto repair and upgrading that home. I know that I'm not going to be able to complete it quite yet because we are not able to actually get mud yet. I believe mud is a seasonal thing, which we could look up. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, where would that be? That would be in...
Maybe resources. Let's go to materials. And mud. Oh. I thought that... Oh, okay. Well, I learned something. Maybe we are able to get some mud. Let's go ahead and pump that up a little bit. I want to have a good stock of mud ready to go because it lasts so long. Have it ready to go because we are going to be upgrading homes pretty quickly here. So basically the idea is that uh, as soon as one of our homes pops up with that little flag of needing repairs, we want to stop it from repairing and upgrade that house so that we can not waste you know not waste the resources that is a lot of stone holy cow I think these are our next two here and we have got plenty of space you know what I already have iron corn and barley let's toss down an M or two just because we've got the space and we have the workload capacity, so we might as well. The stuff lasts for a while. I think two years? Let's look. Two years. Yep. And so if you guys were paying attention, you would have noticed that I lowered the limits down to like below five for that. Because the the breads duration is significantly lower than the grain so I want to throttle the throughput of my my flour and bread production so that I don't waste my food stores basically and this turned up so let's do that sorry about the dog barking So we're tearing this down. And this is our clothing hut, so we're gonna want to remember that because it won't it won't save that for I couldn't tell you the reason why. I really wish that it would save the configurations that you put on them like that. Those configurations can be helpful in in managing your your work areas and stuff. So we are down to 25%. It's probably a good idea to toss another work area for mud down on the map here. Mud goes so fast. Like this one, we're still waiting for two mud. And a trader is never going to bring you mud. He will, however, bring you well digging. Now we are going to be getting straw come, you know, fall, but do we want to make sure that we have enough? I think it's probably worth grabbing, especially because it's so cheap. And we can always just throw logs at it. So we've got plenty of logs, and although we are going to be building walls soon, we do have a ton of trees around. We're really not lacking in our trees. We've got quite a bit. All right, so look, our workload has shot up to 162. And you'll notice I always put my fields on high priority. I want to make sure that our planting and our harvesting gets done. We're just raking in the knowledge points right now. Look at that. OK, so let's grab the underground mining. I think that's probably our best option. and. Let's toss a flint mine in. Let's just start with one. I think that's fine. We don't need a ton of flint. And my dogs are playing. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, so see, we have to set this here. So let's just click those. I want to make sure that our huts generally only do one thing. Maybe two. 
depending on how it's going. So let's upgrade that. And it's okay if the houses just sit like this for a little while. Eventually they will get made. It's not that big of a deal. I would rather save on the efficiency of, of the materials than worry about, you know, I. that's why I always overbuild my housing. We still have 10 slots available. Sorry, that's my dog. Just making noises. Yeah, see we're already back down to like under 80% workload. That little spike from the fields isn't a big deal. We can handle that. <clears throat> Just need two mud. Look at that. That's getting finished. Tearing down another tent. Got another one here. Oh man, these are popping up like crazy. I don't want to get too close to the bottom of my housing. This is probably the last one we're going to be able to do before we're running into some trouble. Yeah, cause we've only got slot for one more. And we're like out of mud already. Yeah, like out of mud. Alright, so we need more mud. Let's toss down another one. And you know what? Let's just have fun and toss down <coughs> an additional one just to preempt it. I don't think I want it to go across the river. It can go there. Just get all the mud. I do not want mud to be our limiting factor here. Which currently it's not, but... Yeah, we're going to have to repair that one, unfortunately. That's too bad. <clears throat> we are at a point where we probably need to do some more hunting. We are running out of food pretty quickly. Got a lot of people here, and uh, meat is really our only food source. At least until our fields start producing. Okay, well, there's not really a lot to hunt. Must have cleaned them out. Oh, there's a ton down here, though. Alright, so, let's... Mm, let's leave that for now. Let's kill this lone mouflon and this ibex. It's probably fine. Oh no, all those houses. That's sad. The inefficiency. The the straw goes quick. We should have plenty of straw come next season, or fall rather. It's really cool that they actually animated the growth of the plants, it's pretty neat. <clears throat> Let's just 
it's a very aesthetically pleasing game. They did a really good job with just making things look very nice and the flow of how the workers do the work looks really nice. Let's prioritize that one so that we get our housing. I really hate that that being red. So you see how it has two doors. So now when we upgrade this one, there will be a door here. Um, but if you were to try to place one there fresh instead of having it as a storage tent first, you wouldn't be able to. The game wouldn't let you do it. Pretty neat if we were able to get another mammoth here. Might be a little greedy, but. And what do we have here? Got some caribou? Reindeer, rather? That's an injured ibex. I will take that. Yeah, we've got a nice little town here. Using the little hitching posts for the sledges. That's nice. We probably could snag one more of these houses or tents to upgrade yeah let's do it so we're at 35 out of 36 right now <laughs> living on the edge Just, I don't really want to have to hunt animals for dry skins, like, forever. It's just not a really good model. Just leaves you open to, uh, starvation, really. <laughs> Maybe two. Couldn't hurt. Yeah. We're looking pretty good right now. Got like 60 food available. Almost. It's pretty solid. So what tech do we want next? I think it would be nice to get goats or weaving next. I would like to start transitioning away from the the wool um or sorry, from the skins outfits and the leather outfits. But we don't really have I mean we need sheep and flax to really be able to do it. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe we go for fortifications next, and, and just get ready for raiders, because they're coming. I was dead before we even did anything, okay. Lost a dog, but... And I think we're probably going to want to put our stables. Hmm. I think last episode I said we want to put our stables over here. 
because we're thinking about putting our, our main farm fields over here. We are over our housing cap. Great. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. Yes, we'll we'll just do like one season of the stuff this close, and then we'll we'll switch it around. <laughs> no, we're gonna have we're gonna have tons of straw real soon here. These skins, though. That uh, eight. I just I just don't think it's worth it. I can't bring myself to do it. The problem is there's a bump in the terrain here which might make it difficult to place stables. So I really like to place my stables in a specific configuration. So maybe we actually think about putting our stable somewhere else. Although that would make it so that our farming needs to go somewhere else too. We could put farming over here. And stables like right here. That means that we gotta like get on it with clearing these trees out here. huge workload right now. It's gonna go fast though. I'm not really worried about it. Yeah, I think we want to start getting staples. I think I will go for goats next. That's probably the right choice. And if we are going to be putting our stables over here, that means we're probably wanting our haystacks around here-ish. We will have to clear that out eventually. I think we're just gonna... Maybe put in a couple... Temporary haystacks. Three is going to be more than enough. And look at that, our our huts are going up. And what's our next lowest? A bunch of these just got repaired. So this this one is probably our winner. Let's do that. I know it's not saying that it's ready to be repaired, but it's almost there. It's like 13 points off. Yeah, so we could keep those fields here for now. Yeah, this is, this is pretty flat here. This is pretty flat. That's a good spot for stables. Plus, it's right next to our like food drying rack and our skins rack. That'll be nice because we will end up killing our animals. I mean, that's kind of part of the deal. That way, they can just walk that way. Maybe we just forget about building on the other side of the river. We can we can expand housing down this direction potentially. Uh, the other thing we could do would be, where is it? Yeah, well, we're going to want the water mill. So the water mill's down there. Hmm. Which one is our food? That one. Having farming way out here, and having to bring the grain and grind it here eventually. Just, uh, really irks me. But, I mean, our, our main source of food is really going to be our animals, and I think we need to prioritize, like, their, their efficiency. Let's get rid of this. So 
else we've got? Five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. We'll get our knowledge point for that. And I think we're going to want to move this work area to here. I want that stone gone. These ones are okay for now. And then they're going to take a lot longer to clear out. Oh, that was our tannin work area. Oop, just have to walk a little further for tannin. Not a big deal. Upgrade that one. We'll temporarily put all of our food out in the open. We've got the resources to put it up pretty quickly. It shouldn't be like sitting there. Could throw down a couple more totems. Uh, we don't really have the dry skin for that. I suppose it depends on what we recycle. Let's get some totems up. Um, where do we want these? I think. Let's kind of put them over here. Make it look all spooky like, you know. That's pretty good. <laughs> this will take a while to build. Yeah. To really do our animals right, we're gonna need well digging as well. Average. We don't need straw anymore. We're good on that. Let's grab those, actually. Got plenty of wood. Just really don't. I don't want to have to worry about the skins. It's got plenty of food. Wish you guys would, you know, deliver the resources to there instead of doing something that you're just gonna have to bring them back. It's kind of obnoxious. <coughs> I don't generally go for goats. Um, I don't find them to be a particularly useful animal. Yeah, you can get the the milk and the meat and the skin and the bone, but I'd rather just not waste my time and just go to sheep as fast as I can. Get sheep up and then just start banking that that wool. The sooner we can get that wool, the better. There we go. So let's turn off all of those. We're down to just four mud. It's gonna cost us eight. We can go and get more, but it's gonna cost us. We could get another knowledge point by upgrading one of these storage huts. Yeah, let's do it doesn't really matter if our materials are out in the open. Hell, half those materials are going towards building the hut. Ooh, I spy. Oh! One health? Unbelievable. 
I don't think I've ever seen that. Those are Ibex. We really want to be on the lookout for Mouflon, even though we can't capture them quite yet. We want to make sure that there aren't any lone males or lone females, old or, or, old or adult. Yeah, I, I saw those right out of the corner of my eye. So it looks like it's just two. Okay, well, this is going to be our first raider attack. I wonder how we're going to do. <laughs> Let's let them get closer before we do anything. We are low on food. We are not low on food, sir. We are fine on food. I probably hit that way too early, but that's okay. Cool. We didn't lose anyone. And we killed an orcs. <laughs> and now we are at eight. So let's grab that. I think this is probably a good place to stop. Before we place our first stables and I show you how I do all of that, I think this is a good place um, to end the episode. So if you did stay and watch the episode, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, like I'm. Like I said before, I'm not really like a YouTuber, but I just wanted to create a tutorial for this game and kind of show how to how I try to build efficiently in this game. Alrighty, thanks for your time. Have a good day.